So with the definition of trauma, trauma is defined by the event itself. It could be an actual threat of harm or death to a self or loved ones. And it is by the child's perception of the event or the threat. So what is perceived as traumatic varies by age and by development level and by experiences as well. So various ways that children are exposed to traumatic events are direct trauma, and those could be some child abuse or ne neglect, also accidents, uh, fire, uh, things that happen directly to the child as uh, could be viewed as a traumatic experience. Uh, some ways that uh, Various ways that they're exposed to traumatic events uh, from closely witnessed uh, domestic violence, uh, community violence. Uh, we see in a lot of this, uh, you know, our kids that are in the, the communities where they're having the protests and the riots and things like that. So those are closely witnessed. Those are things that are happening in their communities that they have the uh, feeling that they have no control over. So those could cause traumatic experiences for those children, those uh, students. And then secondary exposure, uh, uh, you know, the, with the coronavirus going on, we see a lot of this information coming over the media and, and news releases and things like that. That is the exposure from on a secondary level. And also, when I was just retelling an event. So just remember that the individual's perception of the event is what causes it to be traumatic. So what I find as trauma or traumatic you may not be as uh, impacted by as much as I have. It is my perception of that event and my experiences and things real or perceived. So the definition of trauma is witnessing or experiencing an event that poses a real or perceived threat of death, serious injury, or sexual violation.